Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle and I'm Elvis Lassie on YouTube. Today we're going to have a quick look at this little beauty here. Now, um, this is Monday, so on Mondays I try and put up things that are not reactions, so reviews or discussions about um, the co-stars or just you'll find that on a Monday it's generally not a reaction. And um, I wanted to talk about this. Now, I am not a collector by any means. I'm not a collector at all. I don't collect things and keep them pristine. I buy things that I fancy and then I open them up and I embrace them. Now, a lot, I know a lot of people who are collectors. I know one of my friends would buy two of these. One he would keep sealed, the other he would open and look at. Um, and other people who keep them and don't open them up. So we're all different and everybody's a different kind of Elvis fan. As a fan, for me, I don't collect things like I need to have that selection. Um, it's just if I really fancy it. And this one I really, really fancied. I really, really did. Now this is the final curtain. Now, I really just wanted it. I thought it looked like a beautiful box presentation. Um, I absolutely love the final concert. Um, the 77 CBS special. I just absolutely love it. So I wanted this. <laughs> and I didn't buy it when it first came out. So I had to go search him. And I was scammed on this actually. I paid quite a bit of money and was scammed by... Oh gosh, what was the guy's name? Can't remember. This guy had a, a funny name and I was scammed by him. He took my money. But luckily it was PayPal and I got my money back. And then um, Andrew Hearn from Essential Elvis said he had one and he was willing to sell it to me. So I bought it. So I was chuffed to beans after being stuck with a scammer. So be careful out there, guys, because there are people who know that us Elvis fans are a bit crazy and will buy things. So they take advantage. So yeah, just be very, very careful. And if you're paying um, by PayPal, pay for goods and services. Um, keep your receipts. Keep everything that you need to prove that you paid for that purchase and the purchase that you got was not as described. And PayPal should sort it out for you. So just be aware, buyer aware. And here we go. So it's got a sleeve. Look at that. Isn't it just the most delicious? I think the packaging got me most of all. And then it comes out of the sleeve like so. Now, I've put this on my TikTok and on my Instagram. Um, if you're interested, I'm Elvis Last TLC over there. I couldn't be Elvis Last because someone had it. Who did that? So I had to do Elvis Last TLC. So um, I'm on Instagram. I'm on TikTok. I'm on TikTok. I'm on TikTok, but with the TLC at the end. Okay. Okay, so you have the two sections here. And I love how this looks again. I mean, look at the quality. It's outstanding, isn't it? And even on the other side, you've got the Aztec. Um, obviously, a sundial from Elvis's iconic jumpsuit. Now, in I'll leave that one because that's really impressive. This one is the book, so you get a book with it. And look at this. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? Now, here we've got Elvis in concert Omaha and um, Elvis in concert Rapid City. And um, this is the DVD. So you've got other ones as well. I'll show you them. So that's DVD 3 and DVD 4 in there and then we've got our book and it's really hard to show you here so we've got all of these good things in here we have the cbs tv special so the official one and that's dvd5 dvd6 is elvis is dead and that's a bonus dvd so um yeah it's gonna fall out how i'm holding it so i have to be very careful but you've got things like that you've got all good pictures jacksonville and loads of good information and it just it keeps on going it's the gift that keeps on giving um loads of bits all about it so you can read lots of information just look at those pictures aren't they great elvis just done so many shows he was just so tired it's unbelievable i think at the start they do so here for example they do tour one tour two tour three so yeah you've got tour one and it'll give you the dates and things and um, the musicians that were there so lead guitar james burton john wilkinson jerry schiff ronnie tutt tony brown david briggs um harmony vocals charlie hodge back and vocals sweet inspirations jd sumner kathy westmoreland cheryl nelson conductor joe Giesho, and then the orchestra so loads of good information it's just brilliant and look at all that stuff it's fab. So yeah, the attention to detail in the book is just glorious and just the set, everything. And then you have all the CDs and it opens up so spectacularly. Wait till you see this. Look at that, right? Oh, look at that. 
and look at that. Now, isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? I just wanted that. I needed this. I love it. So we've got CD1, CD2, CD3, CD4, CD5, CD6, and Super 8 Magic of 77, DVD1, and DVD2. So then in the book, you've got the DVD3, DVD4, DVD5, and DVD6, which is the bonus DVD at the end. The CBS special is uh, DVD5, wasn't it? Um, so yeah, it's just amazing. Look at that. Just think it's glorious and then how it puts back together as well and look it's at the back isn't that just absolutely gorgeous i love it so yeah so what do you think and this was by boxcar um and i just love their stuff i think their stuff is amazing they done um the elvis Presley's graceland book as well that i bought which i just absolutely love but then it just slips back into the sleeve and back to perfection again isn't that amazing so tell me all your thoughts or do you have this set what kind of collector are you have you kept it in pristine quality and you're not opening it or have you opened it and devoured it or have you bought two or are you like me and just buy what you want and just love it and then just devour it i mean mine's just kind of tatty now because i've been looking at it loads and bringing it out and back in and taking out the cds taking out the dvds like it really my stuff on elvis is worn <laughs> they're well worn but they're well loved as well which is the main thing so yeah give me all your thoughts on this what do you think about it? isn't it gorgeous it's absolutely beautiful um yeah I'd love to hear all your thoughts. Oh, I'll let you have a look at the end because I thought I never showed you this part. And that was what was on CDs, on the CDs actually. So CD1, you're at West Palm Beach, Florida, February 13th, 1977. Um, CD2 is Orlando, Florida, February 15th, 1977. Oh, and St. Petersburg, Florida is on the CD1 as well. Um, on CD2 as well is Columbia, February 18th. Charlotte, and that is February 20th. Norman, and that's February 26th, Albion, Feb March 27th, Alexandria, March 29th, and Alexandria, March 30th, and Kalamazoo, April 26th. So you get like one or two songs from each place put onto the CDs. So you've got CD3 and it goes down, so you've got things from Mon Mon Montgomery, um, CD4, you're um, in Saginaw, Sagan Saginaw, Saginaw. I'm not sure how to say that one. Um, bonus tracks and um, it keeps going on. So CD6 is Indianapolis, June 26, 1977. So that's the last one. And we've got the whole entire concert on CD6. DVD1 is Super 8 Magic and it's all the different dates. And DVD2, DVD3 is Omaha. And then DVD4 is the CBS Raw Tapes from Rapid City. And that's backstage footage. DVD 5 is the actual CBS special. And bonus disc DVD 6 is a collection of news reports on local and major TV stations on the passing of Elvis Presley, recorded in August 77, which is quite sad. That's what's on the last part. I just want to show you that so that you can see what's on the listings. So, yeah. So that is me gone now, um, eventually. <laughs> so that's me gone now. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed a little look at this. Um, yeah, as I said before, tell me all your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear from you. Take care of yourself and have a fantastic Elvis day, whatever you're doing. And I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.